Good afternoon and welcome back to another ironic introduction to another video. I am back in here with four stars only for tier eight of Odin's Gauntlet. Uh, I'm gonna give a special shout out to Seton because straight up, uh, I know this final boss could be a huge hang up. So I'm just kind of wait, see how his run goes. And then I do have proper counters for Odin. Um, so I'm bringing pretty much the same team. I'll be relying on Cosmic Ghost Rider here to do most of the work for me. Um, but I do have Black Widow Clairvoyant for Odin. Uh, I didn't say it in my last one because I, I didn't record voice, but I do want to say it for this one because I am using that information to draft my team. I'm not like coming in here blind. I don't want people to think that I am. Um, so, you know, hey, Zeton, appreciate you paving the way, man. Um, but I'm going to come in here with CDR, take down this Hella. Thankfully, it's been the same nodes every time. Should be okay, I think. I've learned a different way to play CDR. Okay, this will be a damnation effect on her. <clears throat> And a fate seal. So we should get our damage in. Ooh, lag. I'm glad I blocked because that really could have sucked. Whack. Do get that damnation fate seal means we don't have to worry about indestructible i'm actually really really liking cdr i do think after i've played with him now as like the four star even i do think i really like that awakened ability i think before previously i was like oh he doesn't really need it but fate seal is, is very different like it's a power lock without the awakened ability but fate seal it's got some clutch value especially when you look at it for situations like that hella it's kind of a big deal. Okay, and then we will drop our SP3. You should be fate sealed, damnation here. No power. CGR hopefully carries me all the way through tier 10, but we'll see going forward. Looking forward to it. Ooh, painful. Hate to see it, folks. Hate to see it. Just do a double tap here because we're going to need to update a special. Come on, buddy. Thank you. See, I'm not asking for too much. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I do do worry about the longevity here. If in tier nine, I feel like I'm missing that health potential on CGR, um, I might switch over to um, Cap Infinity War or Ghost for those two fights. It's going to be a lot longer, I feel, but it does have a lot of added safety to it, which would be really good for me. Gonna give him the heal. That's okay. I think I need to debate the special first. Okay.
But I do like that it's all the same fights except for the boss fight. That consistency means that we at least know what we're working into. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ooh, I'm gonna start singing up this Cosmic Ghost Rider, I think. Mm -mm -mm. Fate Seal means you can bring Heimdall safely up to an SP2, as long as you can get to your SP3 first, which is not too hard. I have a utility there. This is the month I really, really appreciate CGR. <clears throat> Make sure you trigger that precision buff. Mm. I'm a fan. I wonder what you're supposed to do while he's power locked like that. Just like really pummel into him. I have limber. He probably is limber and I'm not even paying attention. Sees. That's okay. Not a problem. Not a problem. All right. <clears throat> now, this guy's got buffed up strength and numbers and power draw. Whenever the attacker inflicts the defender with a damaging debuff, the attacker is granted a power gain. So Claire should wreck him, I think. Um, I think. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah, check this out. Nice, I got the parry that time. Paying attention, I'm learning. That's huge. I still don't really understand Odin. I like, I get him a bit. It's just that true strike that always trips me up. Clap. Oh, great time to disconnect. I was just thinking that. Pause. Cool back. I just asked you two. Y'all didn't miss anything? It's so greedy to parry that, but I want to learn, since you have to. Oh no, please don't punish. You're the best. And clean takedown, four stars only, tier eight. That does mean that if you have some, like, the right maxed out four stars, that a five star Nexus Crystal is relatively accessible to everybody. A lot of champions can take that Odin down. Buffed up doesn't seem as restrictive um, with that power gain node, so that was nice. Uh, hopefully, I can get a four-star run of tier nine and tier ten itemless as well. But as always, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.